Magix Vegas Video 17 has entered the video market. And usually I wouldn't care about the recent Vegas video updates and I would not dare to make videos about it because it's just like some kind of variations of effects, some kind of new codecs coming and so forth. Uh, no big deal, but this time it's really different. Actually, I know this software already since a very long time. I've been working with Vegas Video since once it was produced by Sonic Foundry and then this kind of big monster Sony came and they bought this thing. They labeled it under a new brand called Sony Media Software. And then just recently it was bought by Magix. And Magix now they made a very interesting step with Vegas Video Pro or Edit or even the Suite comparing to Vegas 16, 17 has such a great innovations that it's really worth making a video about this topic and this is what is going to start right now. Three, two, one. International Review <laughs> Okay, so now here you see some of the highlights and I don't want to go into every detail, but I want to pick out a few of the highlights which I think are really essential, really important. And this is the reason why I really suggest to go into this software and check it out because you have a free download uh, version available uh, somewhere online. And if not, you will find a link uh, down in the description below the video. So the first point which they make a lot of advertising with are these nested timelines. For me, it's kind of like useless because I just work on my own video projects in my computer. I don't share so much with other video uh, editors, which probably in future can happen, but right now it's not so relevant. Uh, but it's cool if you want to work with several projects parallel, then you can have them processed in different computers. They're still staying connected. So this is maybe more like an editing thing for me, not so relevant, but it's good uh, to have it inside. Next point is they now also support the HDR uh, video projects, which is very interesting because for example, the A6400 with which I am filming with right now, you find also a link to my A6400 playlist up here. It supports also HDR recording. So if there wouldn't be a software to edit HDR videos, then what's the point of it? So even though I don't have any kind of player which can kind of reproduce this HDR quality, at least it's now possible to edit these kind of images. So that's a good thing to have. It's kind of like a contemporary solution. Same also uh, with Vegas Pro 17, you can edit 8K videos, uh, which is also just an up-to-date uh, update. So next point, you have the super flow, super flow, slow motion function. So imagine I do like this, and then in slow motion, it would look like that. <gasps> I don't really think that this is Magix who invented this because since years also I was using a plugin or like a standalone software by Pro DAD and um, they produced something called like Respeeder and I think they just kind of shared uh, their software power now directly with Magix. The good thing is that you don't need to buy it separate now so it's already integrated and of course uh, if you film like with, for example, 25p, then this software cannot really uh, create some kind of frames which have been lost uh, during the filming process, but it will start to calculate uh, some kind of frames in between the frames so that the whole slow motion situation is looking quite uh, nice and not so kind of like step by step like as if you would use slow motion with a kind of other uh, video software and I will probably also now in some of the following videos add some more examples of slow motion using the super flow slow motion function of Sony Vegas Pro. 
Pro 17. Next point is, the, and this is for me actually the most crucial point, GPU acceleration. So I always was working with an NVIDIA graphics card and the point was it never really was functioning smoothly. So somehow Vegas Pro 15, I think they started already to add this kind of special NVIDIA support and in 16 also they said it's going to render faster and so forth, but it never really functioned in a flow. It was never really like so well. And now with the 17 version, I'm so happy because it starts to be uh, stable. Before editing was almost like a luck thing, so I had to always hit the string as button to, to store some versions in between, even though, okay, they offered to make it automatic, but then it stores maybe every minute. But like I start to work and after 59 seconds, the software smashes down and then all the 59 seconds in between of editing, they are lost. So now it seems to be really stable and I'm so happy with it, even though I think it's something that we should uh, be able to expect from any software right from the beginning. But they didn't manage until that point. Now in version 17, I made only very positive uh, impressions. So even in preview mode, you see the effects, everything is um, already pictured very precisely and it works and functions and it's stable. And this is all I wanted uh, from the beginning maybe since uh, already like 20 years ago. So uh, then they have this planner uh, motion tracking. That's a nice video effect. I don't know who needs that, but uh, it's also there. I don't want to go into all details. I just want to mention two more things. One is the workflow transitions. Of course, it's, it's not, nothing really that you can edit so much. It's just like an automatic calculation but nice to play around with and I hope in the following versions they are going to update this a little bit more. And finally, they have a smart split function. So if you have this kind of talking head video like you see uh, now, right now in this picture, then you can just mark a certain region and then the split will be set automatically so that the jump from this position to that position is not so violent. The point is they mention this kind of smart split function is a single point, but it's nothing much else than the warp flow transition that I already mentioned before. So it's just like an automatic application of this function. But it's good to have it in this video. I'm quite happy with all these innovations. Usually I wouldn't make any videos about this software, but now I think this was the moment to go forward and speak about it because congratulations, magics, you did the magic. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, write your comments. What do you think about the 17 version? As I mentioned already in the beginning, you can find a free download version in the links below in the description. Uh, thanks for your attention. See you soon and bye bye.